Hey. What it do? How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. 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 All right. You know, the last time we talked to you, you're just getting in here. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like you have progressed from a personal standpoint from the last time we talked to you today? Um, I just say the game's slowing down a little bit more. Uh, the vets, you know, they they all taking me under their wing. Like even you know, D linemen, running backs, receiving don't matter. Just uh, talking to all the vets, trying to find a way to slow the game down. It might that might be the biggest adjustment uh, so far. Eric Harris and Jerron Harmon kind of meant to you over the last few months because I know we talked to Arthur every day. He always kind of seems to bring it up. Right? Mm -hmm. Those guys are super important to a guy like Richie. Yeah, oh, most definitely. I, mean, I was, t I literally was telling them last night, like, uh, you know, I've always been like the leader in the room. Like, even at UCF, my second year in, I was thrown into a, little starting, a starting job. I was the leader of the DBs. So it's just like to have like big brothers I can lean on, you know, and get advice from. They all, they both been around for a long time. Um, even outside of football, I was telling them like wife and kids, like I want that one day. It's just literally everything like they, they living, living in right now, that's what I want. And they just give me advice every single day. I'm soaking it up. What's one piece of advice that Jerome specifically gave? He was talking on, I don't even know what day it was, uh, about like you're with him all the time mm -hmm. after practice in the dorm. What what specifically are you taking from him? What's one piece of advice that he's giving you that stuff? Uh, pretty much, man. You know, uh, coaches got high expectations for me. Uh, you know, multiple roles, things like that. So pretty much. Any and everything he tell me, you know, it don't matter what it is. Like, how to eat my food, I don't care. Like, anything he tell me, like, I'm like, listen, you've been leaving for a long time. I'm trying to do the same thing. So whatever he do, you know, I try to mock that, you know, as a little brother. But um, it's, it's, it's sometimes football. A lot of times it's just life, you know what I mean? So it really don't matter what it is. You know, I ain't going to get specific about it. Is there one, I mean, you say you're not going to get specific. You're joking about the food, obviously. Is there one, like, is there one thing, though, that maybe you were not expecting to maybe take from him that you have? Uh, off the top of my head, uh, I say like you know certain people watch film certain ways. Um, you know he got his own little way of finding little things to critique and uh, make better and stuff like that. So uh, you know we roommates in the dorms. He's there some night and we watch film together. He was you know he give me certain tips on how to read read plays, read receivers, uh, formation and stuff like that. And just tidbits. It's definitely a lot faster in terms of uh, guys just, you know, it's all football. You know, this is your whole life now. There's no school, so you can study as much as you want uh, or as little as you want if you want to get cut. But, um, <laughs> but yeah. But, um, yeah, so guys know what they're doing. They're getting to the line faster. It's a lot faster transition. Um, you know, you got to know personnel because certain calls call for different, different um, checks. So, you know, it's just, it's just the speed of lining up and getting the plays out. You know, as a safety, we the command of the defense, so things like that. Say it again. Was there a moment out there that really clicked for you that you felt like you belonged? Like, was there a play, a read, or something like that where you felt like, all right, I'm good, I'm comfortable? Shoot, nah, man, I just, <laughs> man, nah, like, man, I, I've been in this, like I said, uh, at UCF, man, I got thrown into the mix as a young guy, you know, and uh, I was playing with a lot of seniors, so it's, it's like the same vibe. I got a lot of older vets out there, and I don't want to let them down, so I'm just making sure every day I'm finding something to get better at, you know, because, you know, when the game on the line, I don't want to be the one they're looking at, like, come on, Rook, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't let that be me. So that's why I always talk to all of them, like, what can I get better at uh, just to help me out, play better. Comfortably uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rich, I don't know if you've been asked this before, but uh, coming back to Mercedes-Benz Stadium, mm -hmm. is the first time you've been in there since the Peach Bowl? Yeah, that's the first time. <laughs> yeah, surely. Did that uh, bring back any good memories playing championships? Yeah, but 2017, baby, we beat Auburn. <laughs> that was a good atmosphere. Um, only thing I remember from, from 2017, though, like, if you're being real, it was cold as hell in there, like, <laughs> super cold. But uh, it was, like, January 1st, so, of course, it was cold. But um, the atmosphere, man, like, and then the vets telling me how, like, and then some of the second-year guys, they didn't have, you know, fans last year, so they were telling me how, like, they loved that. And, you know, don't let the moment get too big. Just, just cherish you kind of mentioned it um, um, already, but did, just that you're being asked to do like a lot of different stuff. Like we've seen you play deep, we've seen you play like in the slot, and a mm -hmm. bunch of different things. Do you like that kind of having that kind of varied role? And do you feel comfortable with everything that they're asking you to do? Yes, sir. I've always been a guy that you know bit off more than I could chew, but not in a negative sense. Just like yeah. keeping keeping challenging myself. You know that's how you grow. I learned at an early age. Like you know you can't 
growing unless you put in uncomfortable spots to get better. So I've always been that type of guy. You know, they like I said, they got high expectations for me. So I'm trying to meet their expectations every day. Do you feel like your, your expectations are that high too? That you Most definitely. I came in with the mindset, you know, like wherever I'm at, I'm going to play. I'm going to do the best of my ability. But like I said, it's just all about locking in and knowing, knowing where I'm at on the field and just adjusting to it. Film study that, that you're doing is that something is that an aspect of the game with mental side of it? Is that something that you enjoy kind of getting into the watching film? Yeah, most definitely. Learning. You know they say the eye in the sky don't lie, so whatever that damn film say, that, that's what it is. So um, if you want to get better, like even even if you had a great day or a great play, you know it's always something that you know you might be able to tell uh, your teammate or yourself like, hey, if I did it like this instead of PBU, it might be a pick. So things like that. Um, you know, when, when, you're, when, when you get a pick or you know, break up a pass or when your teammates does, you always you know, cry at each other, y'all are yelling, it's, it's hitting hard. And, you know, what, what's that like to, to see whether it's yourself or, or you know, when your teammates you know, get, a, get a big play in practice? <laughs> Personally, man, like in my in my situation, being a rookie and being out there with all those guys, like when I make a play and they tapping on me, they loving on me, I'm like, yes, like I did it, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm doing doing good for the vets, you know, stuff like that. But uh, just the whole team, man. Uh, right now, defense could be going against each other, but anytime somebody make a play, you'll see me on the sideline. Like sometimes I jump out there, the play still going, like Damn, I got to get back. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm always happy for my guys because I know how hard it is. You know, it's, it's not easy out there, and uh, we're doing the best we can. So. You mentioned that uh, uh, I think it was last it was last week at some point you had a diving PBU and one on ones and then Arthur Smith said you got burned on the same play <laughs> like later practice. Is that just like when you go back and watch that? Uh -huh. like, is that something like you're like okay I understand that that's kind of what life is going to be like for me now or like, what do you take from that like the high and then the low? You know, Twenty minutes. Later? Uh, first I love you, Coach Smith, but um. <laughs> uh, Nah, man, like, like you said, I had a great play on in the beginning, and then they came back kind of the same route, and he caught the ball. You know, I was there, but he still caught it. And it's just like you just got to learn how to live with those highs and lows and try to eliminate some of the lows. So that's what I took from it. Time for a couple more. Carlton. You're wearing some wristbands here. Can you just talk about what, this, what, they, what they were saying uh, in the media. Yeah, um, UCF, man, Coach Shannon. Uh, after every game or sometimes even like scrimmages, he'll give us some wristbands. I used to wear three. I gave one to my little sister, but this one say compete at everything. So I always been that type of guy like, man, losing a part of life, but damn, I hate losing. You know, um, like ping pong, pool, uh, you know, anything. Like compete at everything, you know, and it just keep that mentality. When you get out here, you just compete at everything. Just It just carry over. And then above the line, that's a wristband. It's, it's like a... We had this thing where it started off with GPA. So every every uh, position group, you had to be above a certain line GPA-wise, and we all competed. You know, DBs, D-line, we all competed so we had a high GPA. And then it translated to football. Like, above the line would be, like, 10 guys running to the football and one guy, you know, loafing. Like, he's not above the line. So being above the line, it just keep you accountable. Kind of, yeah. I forgot what my third one was. I used, like, I've been wearing these since sophomore year of college. Yeah, so been a long time. So the one that you gave your sister, do you remember what that was? I don't remember, but it was it was a little. Uh, I think it was silver or white. It was one of those. I tried to change the colors up. Yeah. Did you ever take them off? Or is it like, I, I don't think I ever took these. Off. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> Unless I had to do like something medical where they like you can't have nothing on. But yeah, I don't think I ever took them off. Did your sister do anything to like earn earn it? That you're like, you know what? Here you go. You did this. Good job. She just little sis. You know, I love little sis. You know, I just gave it to her. Yeah. My little brother, he be around. He don't, he don't really ask for none, but I give him something. He wants something. She, she just turned 20. August 7th, yep. Just turned 20. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate y'all.